internet. Today I would like to talk about strippers. Weird thing about me, I kind of like strip clubs. My friends and I, we like to get together, have a couple of beers, watch the ladies dance around. And let me tell you, we have found some pretty awesome strippers. This is one named Evie. She's like such a huge nerd. When the opportunity arose for me to go to New York and actually see a male show, I was all in. But while there, I realized that there was a stark difference between the male club and the female club. So my initial reaction to the male strip club was, what the F? Why is this so expensive? Plus, the shows back in Wisconsin are so much better. After putting my keen and penetrating feminist mind to the task, I decided I wanted to explore the different dynamics of the clubs to understand why I, a heterosexual woman, would prefer the female club to the male club. I also wanted to understand the differences between the power each performer had. So let's break it down. First! I enjoy female clubs. It's got music playing, but it's not too loud. You can still hear the people around you. There's kind of this energized sexuality in the air, but it's not uncomfortable to experience it with strangers. Like, you know, in a movie theater when there's just a really intense sex scene. It's just awkward. I also feel like it's a very acceptable space for women to be sexual. It feels liberating to be there instead of at a club where you're silently being judged for your behavior, whether it be too sexual or not sexual enough. The female dancers have this like fluidity and grace. It's more of an erotic dance as opposed to like the male dancers that are just kind of dry humping random women from the audience. It was just insane. There was this huge change from what I expected. I expected originally that the female club was going to be all about the rougher dancing and the male club would be more sensual since my understanding is that most erotic media aimed at women is more seductive and the more male stuff is straightforward and aggressive. I mean compare romance novels to porn. Let's watch a small clip from the show. Pay attention to the woman on the right side with the pink cowgirl hat. <laughs> thinking, dude, read your audience. The woman next to her is obviously into this, whereas she just seems like she'd rather run away. Go do all that stuff to the girl next to her. That got me thinking, do the men have all the power in this? They can do what they want with these girls, and there's not much the girls can do to halt their aggressive behavior. Even in the audience, men were just lifting women out of their seats, bending them over, and roughly dry humping them. That would be a deal breaker with me. Do not pick me up without my permission. The show itself was pretty lame. Parts of it were stolen right from Magic Mike. They tried to pass it off as if Magic Mike stole stuff from them, but I happen to know that Magic Mike was based on Channing Tatum's so Lawyered. First performance was super weird. The song that they picked was a really patriotic song, and my Navy partner was uncomfortable with the fact that they didn't even put the correct pieces of the uniform within the same branch. Then they folded the American flag wrong, and then the main guy came out and he had the fl flag draped across his naked shoulders. Then the song switched to American Woman, which kind of just dissed every woman in that room. But fear not, I am not gonna just describe this. Here's a montage. <laughs> thinking that the men had all of the power in this. 
I mean, here I am. I shelled out a crap ton of money. I was treated like a second class customer. And then I was made uncomfortable because of the sheer aggressiveness of the men. And then they couldn't even put on a good show. So I did some interviews and found out that there is a whole nother side to this. Male dancers at clubs have to be sexual with the clients if they pay enough. A straight man might have to have his penis out for a gay man to play with, whether or not they want to or not. Female strippers get to draw the line and decide on a case-by-case -case basis what they want to do. On the one weekend where they have male strippers at my home strip club, the women act significantly worse than the average man during an average night. Remember that groping, grabbing, and screaming? Yeah. That doesn't happen on an average night with men. The male clients have the set of rules that they abide by and they're a lot more concrete on an average night. Bouncers are available for the women and the male clients know that the women strippers can do whatever they want and he can't touch without permission. If only that were the rule in regular clubs. On to the next point. Even though a male stripper and a female stripper do the same job, what they do and how it's perceived is very different. The male club treats the show closer to a play. There is a start time, a time when the door goes open, a line to get in, and a hefty ticket charge. Mine was $50. And there was a two drink minimum. That was not included in the price. We were told to get there an hour and a half before showtime. Then we stood in line to get our ID checked. Then we stood in line at the ticket booth to get our tickets to go in. Then we stood in line to go get our two drink tickets. Then we found out that it was cash only, so we had to leave, go to an ATM, come back, pay $11 per drink ticket. Good for a single shot rail mixer in an eight ounce glass. Then we stood in line to be seated, but alas, the only people who get a seat are the ones who paid $75 to be provided a chair. No, I am not kidding. I was not allowed to have a chair. We were expected to sit for nearly five hours and they took away extra chairs until we couldn't sit down at all. The female club. I walk in. I show my ID. I am charged nothing to enter because I am a boob carrying member of the female gender. Then I walk into the door, find a seat, and buy a bottle of beer for $6 at the bar and I can just enjoy the show. The female dancers are always available. You can just walk in and enjoy the show. They rotate throughout the night so that it doesn't matter when you arrive and when you leave. Even though it's so much nicer for me, it does start to make the experience less special and more ordinary. The fact that the male dancer experience is less available explains the wildness of the event. The women don't have a chance to learn the rules and they just tend to go and enjoy. The show's performances themselves were a lot different as well. The female dancers aren't choreographed. Not that you can call what the male dancers were doing choreography. Female strippers tend to mix it up between floor acrobatics, pole stunts, and audience participation where they earn their dollars. I honestly kind of think the women are more talented. So where do all of these observations leave us when trying to answer my original two questions? I honestly think the reason why I enjoy the female dancers so much more is that, honestly, the male dancing was so bad, like that experience was so terrible that I really don't have a lot of good things to say about it. Ah, oh, my home strip club, where they know my drink order. It's nice and clean, well lit, and it's a place that I'm treated well every time I go there. The atmosphere is so much better, it's a lot calmer, it's not so rowdy, I can just, it, Enjoy the sensual experience of it and be in this atmosphere where women get to be sexualized and even though technically they are performing for men as you'll find out in a little bit it is still a very empowering experience for them it makes them feel good it makes them feel okay with the sheer amount of sexuality that they get to exude that when they do that in normal public that they start to get judged for a woman's sexuality in normal public is so negative it can go either way you're either too much or not enough and there's no happy ground and in this situation, there is. You get to be as sexual as you desire, and it's your choice. To understand the dynamics of power better, I did some interviews with the dancers, where I asked them one question. Do you feel empowered doing this? I found that out of the seven dancer interviews I conducted, five of them said a forceful, yes, I feel empowered. They did start talking about why they feel empowered, and those answers included the fact that they feel like they have control over everything. They enjoy that people pay to see them, and they have a very safe feeling there. My nerdy dancer said that she has been doing this for a while, and she is happily married. She likes that she can be sexual and feel safe, because she can't get roofied here, and she's been roofied out at a regular club. Another factor that was brought up was the fact that this gives them financial independence. One girl says that she works two nights a week, raises her son, has a nice house, and is putting herself through school. She is determined to have a career when she is done dancing. She also said that this makes her feel amazing. She says there's nothing else that boosts her self-esteem like this does. One of the girls said this was a great way to pay off student loans. She has a degree in chemistry. One of the two girls who did not answer with that affirmative yes said that she wouldn't call doing this empowering, but she would call it smart. She works every once in a while and makes enough to pay for school. The other girl just likes to dance, but doesn't necessarily find it empowerable. To her, it's just an enjoyable job. 
She's been doing this for 10 years. Several of the girls did mention that the wrong audience can ruin a good night. Another said it was hard to find a relationship because she wants somebody who makes a similar annual income to her, but the guys that make a similar income do not want to be dating a stripper, and the ones that kind of like the fact that she's a stripper don't make enough money. In conclusion, it seems as if women may actually have the upper hand in the power department. Although mass media will try to disagree in a wide variety of movie shows that portray the shameful stripper, female strippers have the power to consent to what they're willing to do for a dollar. However, the male strippers have to participate if a price paid is high enough. Female clients at female strip clubs are not charged an entrance fee. Male clients are watched like a hawk at the female clubs and will get thrown out if they cross a boundary. Male strippers do have a lot of power on stage. They can go up to anybody and do what they want. However, it is kind of balanced by the fact that the women are also allowed to do whatever they want, leading back to that just chaos that I was talking about. However, even though the female strippers have the power in the clubs, when that is brought out into the open and into public, the female stripper is more likely to get shamed and the male stripper is more likely to be elevated. It's kind of interesting. The actual application of a strip club versus the media's portrayal of it are completely different. I'm pretty sure that I could go on for a very long time about this subject because it's so interesting and there's so many different components that feed into it. So that just means I might have to go do more research.